not everybody is meant for greatness. Not everybody has a t- extreme talent in a category that produces money. But everybody does have a talent that can produce happiness. As long as, if you're a great artist, you know that you're not gonna make 10 billion. And as long as you're making 10 billion, that you know that maybe you're not gonna be the most noble or whatever. You've gotta just be true. You just have to know what you're gonna be about. You just have to accept yourself and not worry what everybody else thinks and go all in on you. If you're at South by Southwest, come check it. I'm heading to the convention center. About to get my keynote, 12.30 p.m. Come see me. Details in the text below. Fucking line is crazy. If I'm speaking, what time do you one speak? One in an hour, one of the keynotes. You speak in an hour and go to that very far. Oh, go get on where? That very far over there, speak right above. Hurry, hurry. Looking fresh, bro. Appreciate Every three it, days. Every three days. I like your fade. Thank you, man. I got a really good guy. I got a really good guy. I put him on Snapchat the other day. It was funny. He was like, what is this? He thought it was so cool. Or someone fucked up and they sent the bracelet confirmation to everybody who already paid. And so now everyone thinks they have a VIP bracelet. You live in the state of Texas. Get your ass to book people tonight, 6 p.m. I will be there uh, with a live event. Really looking forward to it. Uh, what time is it? 12.25. Beautiful. Um, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for being here. I'm gonna do a quick survey of how many people know me and don't know me. Based on that, I will speed up the process of what we're really here to do, uh, which is straight up Q&A in your fucking mouth. And so, I wanna do some sort of weird contest. Um, <laughs> Right now? Yeah, dude, behind you, man. Have everybody go up there and take a selfie with everyone behind you. She's bringing it. I'm definitely not doing that because I like to fight the system. I love you, see ya. Thank you. So what's the problem? Not, he needs more support. Well, fucking be patient. <laughs> like, how old is he? He's... 35? You're fucking young, bro. <laughs> what are you worried about? It's not gonna happen overnight. Nobody understands about entrepreneurship and philanthropy working together in Europe. Like you need to, you need to be patient. You need to grind. Something great doesn't happen just because you did it for a couple years or seven years or 13 years. Like you have to chip away, chip away, chip away. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> can I, can I get the mic? Guys, can I get the mic for one second about the book signing? Can I get the mic for one second? Shit. That would have been fun. Six, right? Yes, I'll see you at six, brother. I'll see you. Thanks for all your help. No? All right. I'm doing a book signing somewhere. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Very early on in my career, he wanted me to be like the next Food Network star, so I meet him. It was really cool. This was before the internet was real, and like it was like, whoa, you know? He said he was a really kind of not a great guy, in my opinion, but he did say one thing that has always stuck with me. He said, Gary, you never go on TV until the CDs in the stores. He talked about why his, his method was working. People would promote a week before the album was out and there was no way to get it the next moment at your height of emotion. Way too many people in tech talk a big game before their products, they think that hype is gonna do them anything. All that hype is gonna do is clown them in the end. We play soccer at Mount, Mount Ida. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. So the Ida so baby, so Newton Mass. Newton baby. Newton. 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 Hope you enjoyed the book. Uh, I am a drop now. Thank you awesome. so much. Such a pleasure. Thank you. How are things? You're an inspiration. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, let's have a conversation. That's just true shit. Uh, years ago, and I'm going to Perfect. What's up? What's up, Latoya's crew? This dude right here is a rock star. It's me, Gary V. Get Hope off everybody's your well. Yeah. Get off him. Get now. off. <laughs> So fun. Big ups to my boy Guy. Guy, thank you so much for the Facebook Live. Shout out, DRock, throw that up. 
I like the way guys play in the Facebook Live. Guys always got first mover advantage skills. He knows what's up on Facebook Live. Guy, I want to talk to you about like the size of this book. I've been thinking about doing some more micro kind of, you know, like I like what you did here. I, I think I need to put out more versions of this. I could see a compliment to the Ask Gary V volumes in little theses like Ask Gary V around artists. Yeah, so yeah, there's, these are interesting to me. My man, Brian, you're a genius. Brian Grazer, great, 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 great guy. Frank, Gru- I mean look at this. Frank Gruber, one of my buddies. My first South by, I hung out with Frank. We drank wine together. It's great to see your book here, Frank. And some love, uh-oh. Now this, <laughs> this is the section. Reese, right here, D-Rock. Love this guy. This book was a beast. This was a big selling book. I like David a lot. A gentleman, gentleman, check him out. Real good human. Real good human. All right, do your thing. Just showing everybody the autograph stickers. I like these autograph stickers. D-Rock, I'm gonna put one on you. I'm gonna autograph D-Rock. I'm gonna autograph D-Rock. We got a bunch of people already on board. I wanna see if you were interested. These are Magic the Gathering (laughs) entrepreneur cards. You got it, homie. You're so fast. I I tend to be fast. (laughs) Can I be like the overlord most valuable one or do I have to kind of have my proper spot which is in the upper tier but there's some people. You're you're, you're on part of these dollars. We get a lot of good This is cool, man. I'm thrilled to do it. Yeah, right. You want the the, the fresh pack for you? There's my card. Um, Awesome, man. Good luck to you. Stay well. Yeah, I got, I got nothing else I just want to say hi. I was at episode 100. Yes. And it's, uh, it's a privilege to finally talk to you, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Secret powers, Ronnie. Secret powers. And D-Rock. Yep. And you get up and you yell. Hey, here. Good to see you. How are you? What's going on? Hold on, I gotta help Bonnie here. Please help Bonnie. <laughs> Yo, Bonin, why aren't you putting out content on your Snapchat? We're starting out right now, Gary. Don't worry right about it. I'm going to catch you. Never. Nine years of hanging. What, what's, your, uh, in, what's your Snapchat? Uh, it's good to see you, bro. You're, you're shrinking. I am shrinking. <laughs> you, I'm getting fit. I'm getting, getting fit. fit. You, play, you always post those videos, you playing ball, yeah? Yeah. You still play every morning? We, I'm playing once a week, once every 10 days. How is... Um, are, are Great. all we're talking yes. about, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, Gary, yeah. are all we're talking about is going back to like 1997 permission based relationship, Seth Godin sort of. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't. Cell phone. I, so we're talking about a permission based marketing, direct marketing relationship. I think, I it's think. It's always been permission, right? Yeah, I mean, look, I think, I think it depends on how you look at it. I mean, I do, I, do I think new things happen? Not that often. I think, I think. Everybody's being fucked with because the attention is being staggered in so many different directions and shifts very quickly. If you were all of our parents, our moms and dads, Mm -hmm. if they were marketers a generation ago, they had it easy. We had a consistent platform of marketing for a very long time. The internet, that's the thing being delivered in the phone by the way, that thing screwed it up. It's tough now, sorry. Like, I, do you think I'm happy that Twitter's losing its attention? I have 1.2 million followers on it. I was at the top of the heap. I was winning. I'm super pissed. I'm sad. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not crying about it. I'm learning and executing in Instagram and Snapchat and that's just the way it is. And it's gonna move fast and we, what we have, in, and again, because Bon is here in the context of a lot of people in the room, in a corporate environment, Again, the whole thing is misstructured. You have brand managers. These are business operators. These are people that think about profit margin, actually the formula of the cookies. They have to think about the relationships with the retailers. Mm -hmm. And on top of all of that, they have to understand what's going on in marketing and they and some random creative director from Wyden and Kennedy get to decide what the creative is that they're gonna spend all their money on. It's such a fucked up system. It makes no common sense in a 2016 world and there's a reason so many people struggle to sell shit because they don't know how. That's what I think is happening. Yeah, you know. What's your name? Catwalk. Catwalk? Yeah. Shoot me a meow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, thank you. I don't know. Hi. Awesome, stay well. Get in here, Sheila. Hi, I'm Sheila. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. How you doing, darling? I'm good. You inspire me every day on Snapchat. Thank you, because Sheila. Because the shit makes my head hurt. And I watch <laughs> how you use it, and I'm like, fuck, I am going to do what that guy does. Yes. Yes. Get it, Sheila. You. Thank you. Good Thank for you. you. Thank you for saying that. Congrats. Hi. Hi. Can I get a signed copy? 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. That was a good panel, right? That was awesome. Who do you want to make it out to? Uh, to me, Anna. A N N A? Yes. That is good. Hustling. 24 7, brother. See it all on the Snapchat. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I wish you well. Gary V E E. Get in. Hey, Steph. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. I'm Good really well. You. Amazing as always. Thank but you. I need, I need a T-Rock, make sure she gets it in right. <laughs> you got it. Uh, love you. Love you very so much. So proud of you. This Thank is you. amazing. Crazy, right? This book is really happening. So good. Yeah. So good. Thank you. Great to Thank see you. Thank you. There's some c- books at Kunk's Gallery. Come and get them, D-Rock. Awesome. Awesome. It's great Thank to see you. you guys. Thanks for all the support on of social. Of course. Of course. I appreciate the love. Always there for you. Dropping that real talk. Every time. Good luck to you, man. Go hard on, go hard on Snapchat. Go hard, 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 hard. Siphon every eyeball you have to follow you. It's gonna really matter. Siphon everything you got into this channel. So where detention's gonna be in 2019. Be there or lose. You heard it right here. Ask Gary Vee. Good to see you, brother. But it's something that you. I think if we do it the right way, you can create something that is much more sustainable. 100%. Right? Like you don't, you're not gonna miss your kids' graduations and all that. You know that I But then the more the longer- I'm not even willing to miss check games. I have to tell people no on Sundays and they think I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that happens regularly. <laughs> that was the best moment. How about Thursday? How about Thursday? How about Thursday? Thursday, Thursday night game? Thursday night, until the schedule comes out, we don't book Thursday nights in the fall. Because we're scared. Because <laughs> we literally are scared. It's the one jet game. It's so funny. They, they're like, huh? Like, is it religious? I'm like, no. Yep, <laughs> you should start answering yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of the rare Jets religion? <laughs> it's so fun to be here. I remember going down here for a party. God, man, this, it's unbelievable how much has changed in the nine years I've been coming here. and the team been talking, I'm really feeling that this book has allowed me to be what I really am. You know, it's funny, I think the first chapter speaks to what the entire book is and, and ironically is the first film D-Rock ever made with me which is Clouds and Dirt, right? This book, if you've read it or when you read it, I think you'll see has the crush it, thank you economy kind of philosophies of what the big issues at hand, self-awareness, kind of the emotional EQ, kind of heady, philosophical, anthropology kind of stuff going on but then it also has very tactical like posts like this and use this for very tangible advice and so it's been interesting for me to see whether it's a Scoble or Guy Kawasaki or other people saying, wow, this is a really how-to book. Like this is not a fluff book. This is really like thing the things, do these things. Like there's things to be done. And then other people saying, whoa, Gary's fine. Other people writing reviews of like, Gary's finally grown up. This really <laughs> talks about the bigger things and I think there's too many people writing business books that have never built a business. They, they make money on teaching people how to make money when they've never made money in any way besides teaching people how to make money. And I have a lot of cynicisms to that and I have a lot of cynicism to the overall kind of place where entrepreneurship is right now. And I'm excited that this book and this momentum and this week and in general I'm feeling, uh, you're catching me at a super interesting time. I'm super emotional about clearly in my stomach feeling that I've taken another step step in the journey that I think is inevitable and, uh, and I'm excited about it. And so your turnout tonight uh, means a lot to me and so I thank you very, very, very much. You know, the ironic thing that people don't know about me is if there was 50,000 people here or if there was one person here, I'd fucking bring it, you know? <laughs> I think when you're in the business of marketing something that you don't actually do, it's all about listening and asking questions, right? So the first thing I would do is really try to understand what I'm trying to accomplish. So if you ask me what I think I am, I think I'm a counter puncher. That's why I did jab, 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 right hook. I think in nature, I'm a counter puncher, right? I'm trying to understand all of you and then I reverse engineer it and then I start stacking what I wanna do based on what I know you want. You know why a lot of you are here? Because of all the other business coaches and all this, they're full of shit. They're trying to hold their best stuff so that you feel like they're giving you a little bit and they want to suck you into their fucking mastermind and their fucking ebooks and shit like that. I'm giving my shit away for free. Every three years I come and I'm like, can you buy a $20 book? 
And then I love when my fans, I'm like, you know, some of the people, and you guys see this, the comments are like, Gary, all right, enough of the book. I'm like, really? Really? Like I can't throw that little right hook once every three years for 90 days? I'm sorry, I'm a real fucking asshole. You know? Meanwhile, these are the same people. One guy really pissed me off and then I went and looked at everything he's doing. Same dude that bought somebody's $300 ebook on Snapchat where the guy stole all my content and repackaged it for 300. And he's mad at me for promoting $20 book a little too much for his liking. Unfollow me, bitch. <laughs> what people don't understand about me is I'm a very big time businessman. Like, like it's time for everybody to start recognizing that I built a $60 million business before I came out and started being a pundit. Like I, Dave, I know you walk, like, like I love it, like when I started my agency, like I built an agency since I've been running it for four years from three to $100 million in revenue on Madison Avenue, right? Like that's real. Think about this, I already had money when I started VaynerMedia. And because I was running a business and I was treating it like a business, we started at a Buddy Media's conference room so I didn't have to pay rent. Like, entrepreneurs these days are raising money, getting all nice, fancy, and this, and they're just trying to raise money for the next round. They don't have a business. So, I like the way you reacted to the newsletter. Don't worry about how I'm doing it or anybody else. Everything works, by the way. Not everything works for you. Got it? You're welcome.